The Five and Dime is a nomadic theater company that focuses on showcasing the urban core of Jacksonville. And I think a lot of people don't really realize what an exciting arts culture is really developing in Jacksonville's urban core. And The Five and Dime has been really fortunate to have been a part of that. So what we really strive to do is find innovative ways to use non-traditional spaces to put on plays and theatrical events. And that's what we are trying to do with our upcoming production of Nine Parts of Desire. There is a book called Nine Parts of Desire by Geraldine Brooks that examines what she refers to as the hidden world of Islamic women. Heather Raffo uses that title then for the title of this play. The nine parts of desire in the title, in this case, refer to the nine different women who audiences can expect to see when they come to see this production. And that's kind of what the structure of the play is. So it's a series of monologues, and some women we meet only once, and some women come back to us and continue sharing their stories. But there are a total of nine female voices. So from the outside looking in without sort of deeper investigation, the play is about nine different women who are either living in Iraq or of Iraqi descent describing their personal experiences or the experiences of their family during a time of war. However, if we dig a little deeper, we see that there's a lot more than that. It's not a play about politics. It's not a play about war. It is a play about women and how strong women are. And I think it might surprise people how joyful the female voice is in the case of this play. How strong, how historic. It's not about focusing on the tragedy. And Heather Raffa points out that we shouldn't focus on these women as being victims, but that there is something more that we should be seeing in the stories that they are sharing. This is a one-woman show. It was a one-woman show when Heather Raffo first conceived of it, and she performed it herself. But it is certainly not what maybe people's misconceptions of a one-person show through sort of pop culture making fun of that format might be. It's not about me whatsoever, though I do feel a very strong personal connection to the material. People should not assume that they're going to be coming in and seeing a play about this girl, because that's not happening. Um, I think I think one of the things that makes it the most challenging but also the most fun is that I'm not playing any one person for any great period of time. There are nine different women that I at various times embody and share with the audience. So it's fun, it's daunting, it's scary, but um, I have really enjoyed getting to know them, and I know that sounds really cheesy, but it's true, that's sort of the way I have approached the material and in working with the creative team, we've all sort of approached it that way. Jacksonville is really lucky in that there are a lot of really great artists and arts organizations and theaters who are all trying to do really great different things. And in turn, the artists of Jacksonville have been really fortunate to have a really welcoming, supportive audience by and large. The Five and Dime especially looks forward to audience members who want to be challenged and want to ask questions and want to talk about what is going on in the world right now. So much of what we use art for goes beyond entertainment, but really is because it's fulfilling a need that we have to communicate as a society. So if you are interested in being a part of that conversation, then we certainly welcome you to join us.